Okay, uh, we are back in session um, talking about the budget and the implementer bill. I personally believe that the budget should be the first order of business and then everything after that we can discuss. But the budget is our priority and our most important uh, piece of legislation that quite honestly we talk about. Um, technically, this budget has no tax increases. However, it does have numerous amounts of fees on license and permits. Um, it has about six million dollars of earmarks that uh, go to towns like Hartford, uh, Bridgeport, and, da and Stanford. Um, that six million dollars could be used, we have a massive opioid and heroin problem, uh, that six million dollars could go for that. There are things like uh, domestic violence, a temporary restraining order was bill, uh, bill passed, however that has been cut out of the budget. Uh, a consent, affirmative consent bill was passed dealing with rape, that has been cut out of the budget. You know with our income tax down, our revenues are down, the Democrats are relying on cigarettes, alcohol, and gambling to bring in revenue, and that's no way to budget to balance our budget. There are cuts to the hospital, there's cuts to education, uh, special ed is cut, uh, transportation on busing for the public and private busing has been cut. Our towns are getting hit, and we should be giving relief on the mandates that we put upon them. That's what they crave, the cities and towns. So let's implement a bonding cap, let's implement a spending cap, let's implement things like that that will really make a difference to our cities and towns and to the citizens of Connecticut. And as one legislator said, we're feeding the beast and for that reason I will not be supporting this.